Hello there, it's Friday, January 5th, 2017. I'm Anya Parampil in Washington, D.C., and you're watching RT America. We start this evening with the Department of Justice on the offensive against the Clinton Foundation once again, this time for so-called pay-to-play politics. The DOJ is currently looking into whether or not the foundation violated tax law. Several individuals have alleged the foundation promised political favors in return for donations. The FBI has now taken the lead in the investigation. The DOJ has meanwhile also opened, reopened the investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server during her tenure as Secretary of State. For more on this, we are joined now by conservative commentator Steve Malsberg. Uh, Steve, why do you believe it's important to investigate the Clinton Foundation at this point? Well, this is something that uh, is long, long overdue. It wasn't going to happen during uh, the uh, Obama administration. And uh, Jeff Sessions, I'm glad to see uh, AP says it's been going on for months. If you read Clinton Cash by Peter Schweitzer, there's many, many reasons. And if you saw some of the emails that the uh, Judicial Watch got released by the State Department last November, 1,600 documents, I'll give you one example. Um, conflict of interest here. In 2009, uh, a, a donor who gave between 10 and 25 million to the Clinton Foundation called Doug Band at the Clinton Foundation looking for a favor regarding visas for a camera crew from Cuba. So Band forwards and sends an email to Uma Abedin at the State Department saying, call the donor. Uh, there's another example where uh, another big, big donor, a banker, uh, writes to Hillary and says uh, something about um, political appointments in Singapore and Hong Kong. Hillary forwards it to Uma Abedin, and Uma writes back saying, I'll follow up on it. You can't have these Clinton Foundation donors asking for favors at the State Department and the State Department being receptive. It just is unseemly. Well, the DOJ also announced it's reopened the investigation into Clinton's use of her private email while as Secretary of State. What might change this time around? Well, for one, uh, hopefully the, uh, the people doing the investigating won't uh, have a pro-Hillary, anti-Trump bias. I think that's uh, number one. And then you have to go to Comey and the procedures he followed. And I think this is going to be under investigation, too. Uh, we found out just the other day they posted Comey's uh, original statement that he was going to read before the cameras, but was changed by subordinates. And they took out references to felonies and misdemeanors. Now, why on earth would Comey allow that to happen when it came to gross negligence, which would have been a felony, and other language that would have been to misdemeanors, also saying that there was a very good chance that her email unprotected server was hacked, uh, they changed that language to possibly hacked. So who changed it? Why was it changed? What procedures were followed? And uh, did, in fact, Hillary Clinton break the laws? So many of us think she did. And I think that's why that's necessary. I never saw or heard of an investigation like it before that the FBI just apparently the fix was in. They, of course, have already looked into this case twice. So you seem to believe that something new and different could, could come up? Yeah, I, I think, uh, the, 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 you know, to find out what Comey did, uh, what Comey did wrong. Uh, now we also know that, uh, you know, Peter Strzok and his girlfriend, they, uh, within the FBI, they texted uh, about how they needed an insurance policy against Trump winning because Trump was an awful human being. This was during the Hillary Clinton email investigation. So uh, the whole thing to me smells. It was tainted. Uh, and then you now have Comey also. Uh, one senator said that Comey um, might have uh, sent out classified information to that reporter who he used to help get information out and get a special prosecutor appointed. He testified to that before a congressional committee that he forwarded a letter to a reporter. Now it turns out some of the things he forwarded might have been classified. So there's a whole big, uh, uh, you know, bundle here that needs to be looked at. And I, I guess we'll have to wait a couple of months before we hear any results. We'll be, we'll be waiting, of course, and discuss that with you then. Steve Malsberg, political commentator, thanks so much. Thank you.